Hello everyone, hey this is Gooby D and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a couple more new features for the GTBS 2.0 for RPG Maker VX Ace. Um, specifically what we're looking at right here is a map that I have made in a program called uh, Lay Meta Editor. This is a new program um, and script by MGC and this allows us to create um, 3D um, isometric maps. Let me go ahead and just show you here what I mean. Um, we're just going to go ahead and open this up now. Keep in mind here that uh, my refresh rate for my recording software is um, rather slow, but I'll put up the frame rate up there so you can see it. But um, so so this doesn't look quite as impressive as it does when you're actually playing it. Um, so, anyways. Um, what we're going to do is just go ahead and start a new game here, and as you can see, we're presented with a map. This is a map I've just constructed real quickly in the Lay Meta Editor. And uh, if we take, we can actually rotate the map by using your page up, page down, or Q and E buttons. That's the equivalent of L and R in the uh, game. And uh, we can then rotate the map in order to get a different perspective on things. And as we rotate, we can see, um, like here, we've actually got a slope as you slope um, between those areas. Unfortunately, this doesn't really show it all that well, but um, up on top of it here, um, I actually left a nice sloped tile there for you, so you can see it right uh, above where our actor is currently. So you can see that uh, you can generate a lot of very unique maps. Uh, one thing this engine is not capable of is full true 3D. So you can't take an object and have it float in the air up above one of these in order to make an arch or such things. <clears throat> so that uh, is a little unfortunate, but um, it does still give us a lot of capability in order to play with what we do have. So um, with that all in mind, um, let's go ahead and let's start a GTBS battle on this map. Um, of course, just like normal with GTBS, you actually have the ability to enable or disable it. Um, but once we get into our map, you can then go ahead and make your movements. And of course, just carry out a standard battle. Um, the enemy is going to approach and uh, attempt to attack, so on. Um, again, here, this is displaying the usage of the side view system. Um, one um, of the cool things with this new version of the side view system, uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything here set up to show it um, off too much yet. But uh, basically, you have the ability to do Takan, uh, Takantai. Um, battle system ability. So um, here you'll have the ability to um, to have your character jump from his current location and um, perform a series of animations on them and himself and then pop the damage multiple times etc. So it's going to be possible. Right now I've only got the multi-animation system built into it. I don't have the, the other half of it. Um, for the movement for actually jumping back and forth between the uh, subjects, but it will be coming shortly, so have have no worries there. Um, so anyways, uh, this is very roughly the system. Um, there's uh, still a couple of bugs that are still being worked out, such as, as you probably just noticed, I walked right through that enemy. Um, so there's still a couple of things to be worked out with the movement, um, but um, otherwise, the system at a whole is uh, coming along well. Also, as you can tell, it's preventing me from moving to a place where an event uh, currently subsides. Um, so, that, like I said, there are a couple of uh, nuances that I still have not gotten worked out, but uh, those should be um, rather soon. So, in the meantime, anyways, you can get in here and start building your projects, and those bugs will be worked out here reasonably soon. And um, you'll be able to um, use and achieve what you want with the battle system here. So anyways, um, I think that's uh, pretty much all I've got to show for you tonight. Um, you know what, though, let me finish this battle here. And then we are going to go and show you the editor for the um, lay meta editor. Uh, we'll click and do that here. All right. So as you can see, your return to battle. And that is that. So anyways, let's go ahead and close this out and show you guys how to create a map through the Lay Meta Editor, which is included in the uh, 
the download, which is going to be available here in probably about a half hour or so. Um, anyway, so what you do is you go into your project folder, and you say open game folder, and then you go to this VXA lay meta editor. Lay meta editor. I can't really talk tonight. Anyways, once you get inside of here, just run the game executable, and you'll be presented with this dialog. Um, inside of here, you've got five buttons across the top here. You can create a new item, save a map that is currently being built, open an existing map. Um, this here is for change tile set and export to your VX project. I'm sorry, that's VX Ace project. So um, what you can do is you can come in here and say, I want to create a new map. You specify what dimensions you want that map to be, and then you hit the arrow. And then, of course, you choose which tile set you want to use, and then you arrow to select that. Okay, once you've got that, you can then go ahead and click and drag to highlight multiple tiles, or you just click and then use the control button and then click additional times in order to highlight additional tiles or click and drag across multiple. Um, you've also got the ability to specify a slope on a tile. You hold down shift and then you right click and carry. It'll only go up and it'll go up a maximum of 64, um, 64 pixels or two tiles high. Um, that is the maximum um, tilt that you can apply to a um, item. And then of course you can rotate the map here. Um, this one here gives you a little bit more fine control, giving you, um, instead of just 90 degree rotations, it actually gives you a one degree rotation per press. Um, and so you can play with that. You can see the rotation values and your current XY um, location down at the bottom. And then one of the other cool features is that you can also, um, you can raise your tiles, um, just to highlight some tiles, right click and carry your mouse up or down. Press the space bar in order to quickly pan. And then uh, come up here and hit tiles. And now you can actually texture your items. So you come in here and say, oh, this is actually big old bush. So let's go ahead and apply some texture to the side of it there. And then let's rotate around it. And there you go. You got yourself a little bush. And as long as you make it tall enough that uh, they cannot climb over it, um, then it will prevent their movement. Otherwise, of course, they'll just walk up on top of it. Um, so, you know, play around with that. See what you think. Um, and then let me go ahead and switch this back to height mode here. And we're going to select this guy and lower this back down. And as you notice, when I get that back down to the same height as all the other items, it turns red around the sides, which implies that it is the same height as those. Um, and I think that's really pretty much it. There's really not too much to the engine, but it is extremely powerful. Um, so, you know, you can come in here and create yourself a nice looking little um, walkway um, through a garden, perhaps, and you know, just play with that, you know. Come in here and let's raise these guys up here. And then let's bush them up. And rotate around and get the other side. Oops, into the top. There you go. And so as you can see, very powerful engine. Um, gives us the ability to customize RPG Maker far more than it ever has in the past. And as you can tell, again, we've still got a great frame rate going on here. So it doesn't really lag the engine too much. Um, however, if you do have an older computer, it is very possible that this would be a, a very graphic intensive uh, process because it is Ruby. It's going to be a little bit slower than um, uh, more current technologies as far as that is concerned. Um, so, you know, there, you know, there may be some other things that you run into there, but for the most part, I mean, at least on my computer here, granted my computer's, you know, new within a year, so it's uh, maybe not as apparent for me as it might be for some of you guys um, out there. So, anyways, um, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys right now, um, but this is... Uh, very awesome and as you can see once you get up here you can save it and then you can export that map into your project and it will come into the project as just a new map um, as can be seen here on my uh, screen so here's just a standard map and here is a isometric one 
Um, you can customize this. Uh, he's actually looking at doing animated tiles um, so that you can have animated water, um, other such things. So we'll, we're, it's going to be continued to be expanded. So keep an eye on this script. And uh, because it is built entirely as an add-on to GTBS, it can be added or uh, so on with any different version of it. So it should be fully compatible no matter where you go. So anyways, um, I think that's pretty much everything I've got for you. So we'll catch you guys later. See ya.